What's kicking, guys? Josh here with the Proud Productions back in UE4 with a 20-second blueprinting tutorial, and this is going to be a real quick one today. I want to talk to you guys about structures, blueprint structures, and why. The reason is, is we're going to be using them for our Minecraft tutorial series, so I want to jump into them and explain to them. Um, it's a really easy way of using like a, a, a collection of variables, a collection of variables, stats, statistics, stuff like that. I'm going to talk you through it, and, and again, I apologize for not being here, guys. I've been really, really busy at work. It's going to be a busy few weeks, and I apologize, but I'll jump on here every chance I get. Let's jump right in the deep, I'm in the DP folder already. Now, what I'm going to do is this is going to, like I said, this is going to be a really short tutorial. I'm just going to show you a couple things in blueprints, but we're going to right click, okay? And we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to blueprints, right? And you're going to see, you can, you can create a blueprint class. Like, you could go up here, right? You know, you've done this before, create an actor or whatever, not whatever. Well, what we're going to do is right click, go to blueprints right in here, and I want you to go down to structure, okay? And we'll just name it there. I'm gonna name it structure, bro. I'm gonna name it structure. I'm gonna name it structure. That's all it is. Is a structure. You can hold hold CTRL and zoom in and out the window right there. And we're gonna we're gonna double click on it. Now, if I, could, if I drag this little spot right here, you're gonna little spot. We're gonna drag this window down. You can start creating some variables. It's already created one for you, and it's a boolean. Well, let's imagine we need to set up some stats for our character. And when I say stats, I mean like health, attack power, stamina, uh, vitality. Imagine if you had like a, a Dark Souls game or Minecraft. You got your health. You got your hunger. You got your inventory slots. You have your your weapons. Your blah blah blah. blah. If you, or if you're leveling up in the game, what level are you? So check it out. Let's type in the word level. Right. We got a level right there. Okay. And that level would be an integer. It's the level of our character, right? And you could name it if you wanted to. You could say. Uh, Let's go on to player level, just to be just to be weird. You know what I'm saying? Now let's add a new variable, right? And let's say we're gonna add some health. We have our current health, right? Oh God! Oh, not just the word current, but current health, right? And you would set it to an integer. It's already set there. Name it new another one. We'll name it max health because if we were if we were create if we were creating like a uh, a health system, we would need to have our current and our max health, right? Remember when we did that in our uh, in our uh, UMG? Let's say we had um, a stamina. You know what I'm saying? We had current Stamina, brah. Current stamina. I might have spelled that wrong. And and it's the thing is, uh, well, let's do one more. Max stamina, right? We're just we're setting up a list here. A list of a uh, a list of goodness. A list of goodness, bro. Now the thing is, a couple of these might be floats. Let's say this is a float, and and this is a float. And now what you have here is if you if you save it, you have your little your little numbers down here. You can set them. Your we're gonna start the level at level three. The, the the guy will be at level three. We're gonna start with 150 health, right? So we'll make sure the current and the max. And we're gonna start with 100 stamina. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what you're gonna be. And there's your there's your stats, right? You keep going. You might have a a a um attack uh, attack power right you got attack power and then attack speed right we got all we got all we got all kind of uh stuff okay and these are both let's say that one's a that one's a that one's an integer and that was an integer okay no big deal now you could obviously get down with it you know what i'm saying you could you could go in here and you all any variable you want is the point but we'll say the attack power is 15 bro and the attack speed is 25 and there we go we got a little stat set up for our guy right now and it's inside of like i said it's inside of a structure and you know you would honestly i'm gonna rename it to uh we'll name it um stats oh god oh god stats struct and i name a lot of these struct sometimes because that's exactly what it says in the thing but yeah it's whatever whatever you want to call it, it's fine but the point is there we go we got our little struct here our structure of blueprints and the reason this is useful and obviously you can already kind of see why it is but let's say we had a blueprint let's create a blueprint real quick right it doesn't matter what i'm just going to so we have a blueprint i'm in the i'm in the dp folder but i ain't got no i ain't got no beef okay we'll just call this uh bp so let's imagine this is our character let's just imagine me and you we're gonna imagine this is our character we're in here we got a little character he's a little he's a little apple a little apple apple person and we go over to our event graph right and we're like okay well we need to start setting some we need to start doing some stuff well you go in here and you set like well i need to affect my health so you're like well let's create a variable for health let's create a variable for this let's create a little, little. no what we can do now is create a variable we'll name it the same thing stats struct okay that's what i name it session and what you can do now is if you have it created and we do we'll leave it we'll leave that window open bro because you e4 know how we do okay we're gonna go right here we're gonna the name of it is stats struct right now th what that means is this stat struct is a variable type that's what that means so if we go in here and when we we have our stat struct here it's set to a boolean right well you can type in exactly what you need to so type in stats struct and you'll see it here that's a variable type now okay and you're done compile now what happens is when you drag in this stat struct you can get it right there's your entire struct okay and then you can set it right there's your entire struct so to see everything you just right click on this bad baby split the pin right click on this bad baby split the pin and you got everything you need boom there's your level there's your current health and max health there's your 
average stamina, max stamina, current attack power, attack speed. Let's say you're just like, you know, I got, a, I got this event. I'm having a custom event, right? We have a custom event. It's called uh, uh, Heal. You know what I'm saying? You got a, you got a, you got a uh, custom event and your player, and it's called Heal. And when it happens, you want to affect the health, right? Well, what you do is you grab the health, right? You see, when you take the current health, and let's say we, um, we uh, add... Integer plus integer, add 25. So you got a little potion, right? You add 25, and obviously, you know you, what you would do here. Check it out. Clamp. Clamp the integer. And the reason we're going to do that is what you can do is immediately you set yourself up to be... The clamp will already be between zero and max health, right? That way you never go over that, and boom, you set yourself up a little boom, boom there, bro. And there you go. Ta-da. But what you'd want to do now, this is what you'd want to do. And honestly, this is what I, I drag these down here and kind of move these closer together because what you'd want to do now, and this is something you have to do, is you have to make sure the rest of these wires are connected, right? Max health needs to go into max health. You don't want to leave any of these open because when you set it, it's going to be set to whatever it is. So if you're leveled up 25 times and you're level 28, but then you leave this blank, you're going to go back to level three. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you connect all these wires all like that, bro. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You got everything connected, but... If you pay attention, health is health has got a little work done to it, right? We got a little plus 25. We clamped it between zero and whatever the max health is. That way, if your max health changes later, you don't have to do that. Now, this is just me just having fun down here showing you a couple tricks. But the point is, guys, look how easy it is to keep everything organized with a structure. You could have, you know, you another event over here, and it's like upgrade attack power. And you could do the exact same thing. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could add, a little, add a little plus right here, plug it in there, boom, and you're good to go. But just remember, if you're ever getting, if you're ever setting a struct, if you're ever setting it, you cannot leave these open. You cannot. You're going to have to get that struct and make sure that whatever you're not affecting, you plug everything in the way it was, and then anything you are affecting, you know, do it however you want to. But guys, quick tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys about how, how structs work, structures work. They're extremely useful. As you can tell, a structure is literally just a variable type, a list of variables, a way to keep tons and tons of stuff. Like if you have 30 different events and they're all the same thing, but you need to save all 30 of those events, what you could do is you could have this structure, have all 30 events in it, and then in your save game blueprint, have the same structure, and then save each one to each one, and ta-da, you know, bro, there you go. But guys, thanks for watching watching Josh here with the Prop Productions. I hope you learned a little quick something, something. Like I said, it's nothing major. It's just I wanted you guys to see how structures work and what you can do with them. And like I said, all it is is a list. I mean, look at all these bad babies. Look at all them. We got all kind of stuff here. You could keep adding to them. You could have bullions. You could have, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, a t um, sword collar. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say your sword collar, right? Yeah, you have, a, you have a sword, and when you level up, it changes the collars. You know what I'm saying? Like red, red, you go over here, and you could type in like type in the word collar, bro, and you'll see like collar done. You know what I'm saying? You got you have a collar now, and now you can change that collar. And if I go back in here, we have that same thing right here, bro. And if you need to affect it, you know you just you know you you split you could split this pin as well, obviously to have tons of different collars. But you know for now, let's plug it straight in. You know what I'm talking about? The point is, as you add, it freaking updates immediately into your struct, dude. It's Amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Josh here with the Proud Productions. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit us up on Facebook. All the links in the description. Hit us up on SoundCloud. Let's get them numbers up. Hit us up. Get some free music. We got a new track coming out really, 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 really soon. Royalty free for you guys to use for any of your games or films. Literally, it's coming right around the corner. It's almost finished. We're working on a new prototype. I'm going to show you I'll show it off here really soon so I can show off some cool tricks. And again, just like the other one, if you guys ever have any questions about how I built it, I will do like a, a, a series of how we made it. But guys, thanks for watching again. Hit us up on YouTube. Hit us up on Facebook, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, itch.io if you want to check out the free game we already have out. We got another one coming. But until then, hope you guys learned a little something about structures. Love you, miss you. Peace.